Dear Very Dark Man, I hope that this message reaches you before the iron gets cold. I would have sent you a message on Instagram, but the last message I sent, you did not see it, so I'd rather not waste my energy. I saw your comeback video, and frankly, I do feel quite disappointed. But before I go into details, let me say this first. I'm a huge fan of your work, and I've been following you since the days of the Jenny's Glow Saga. During that period, I even fought one of my flatmates because she called you a clout chaser. Every one of us, except your haters, agree that your efforts during that conflict sanitized the entire skincare industry and rescued millions of skincare product users. The clowns who continually say you hate women forget that the victim of the Jenny's Glow Saga was a woman and that some of the people you have helped after that time are women. We also remember all the bad eggs in the online business space who refunded money to clients and customers because you got involved. I also remember how you noticed critical little details that most of us didn't even see when our brother Mubad was pronounced dead. The truth is that you have been a voice for the voiceless and a ray of hope for many young people. The fear of very dark man was the beginning of good behavior, at least back then, but now it seems you have begun to change. As far as some of us can tell, there's a dark transformation going on within you and it seems you have not been paying attention to it. I think this negative change began around the time you started having issues with Jis Lover and Iyabo Ojo. And by the way, you and Iyabo are two of my favorite online personalities. It broke my heart to see you guys fight that dirty. I actually wish you both had handled your utterances very differently than you did. Very dark man, sir. You are shifting from being an influential influencer to a notorious influencer. You are gradually moving from being a voice to a noisy voice. Many of us, your hardcore fans, now have to do the extra work of sieving plenty stones from rice whenever it is you talk. Yes, your words still carry weight, but they no longer carry as much weight as they used to do. You are gradually becoming toxic, overconfident, narcissistic, and frankly annoying. A clear sign of your steady emotional decline was the I hope this marriage will last statement you made during Queen's wedding. Even though many of us males have our opinion about Queen and her guy, bro, that statement wasn't necessary. Another sign of decline is that you have now become MTN. Every single fly that passes on the internet must now have a dinner date with your ring light. The third sign of decline is the fact that you came out of jail and your first address to your fans is that video that is devoid of any introspection or soul searching. Bro, you need to realize that many people in the online space can't think for themselves. They are always craving small gods to worship and they find those gods in their online faves. Else, how do you think some brain dead influencers on Instagram and TikTok got thousands of followers following them every day and kissing every single thing they upload. People like you and I are saddled with a powerful responsibility. The responsibility of thinking for others and communicating it accurately. A person with your level of influence should not make careless unguarded statements because your words carry massive impact. Any negative behavior that you display and you do not correct will be adopted by a good number of your followers. You are very dark man. You have started leaving cracks in your walls and lizards have begun to enter. This recent arrest, even though it is illegal, is a clear example. You once said you had nothing to lose but if not for the intervention of men, you almost lost your freedom of speech, freedom of association, and freedom of movement. Every one of us has something to lose. The only thing you cannot lose is that which you never had. You should be glad and grateful that those who had you this time are powers that could be reasoned with and not the tentative Jinjuriki of Uchiha Madara. Person way no Sabi Naruto now will think I just spoke in tongues. I for one believe in making necessary enemies and not unnecessary enemies and the difference is in how you use these two called words. We all love your ruggedness and courage but bro, you need to develop finesse and tact so that no one can pin anything on you. The biggest weakness that I have noticed is the packaging of your words whenever you're making your points. If you need to take communication classes, bro, do so. For example, compare these two statements. One, some of us here don't know what we are doing. Two, some of you here don't know what you are doing. Which one do you think people are going to be more receptive to? I'll leave you to answer that. And luckily for you, you have powerful allies like Davido, Tunde Ednot, Sheonkuti, and Kobana Chief Priest on your side. These people have been in the limelight longer than you have. You should take advice from them. I'm a firm believer in always letting your logic do the talking. It is very hard to argue against a logical point, even if it makes us angry. And for your comeback video, in addition to reminding us of who Very Dark Man is, I would have expected you to show some introspection. It doesn't mean that you've been defeated, it simply means that you have come out better. All the same, I would like to say welcome back bro and enjoy your regained freedom and upgraded influence. My name is Brother Dapo and this is Intellicism. Don't play.